Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing video series videos I've been for a little while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I'm doing a, a rather unconventional burger review this time. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yam around about for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, you better believe I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Happens to be my boom. It is my Aqua Teen Hunger Force shirt. Specifically, I don't need no instructions to know how to rock shirt. What with the the Carl. Let's just be honest. Let's give him the title he deserves. The legendary Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Which, if you're unfamiliar with Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, it is a animated series. It actually had a movie that was in theaters. I saw it. Uh, that started out in kind of like the early 90s on Adult Swim, Cartoon Network. And it had a run, man. I, I don't know... I think they brought it back for online episodes. I'm not sure if they're doing, like, stuff on Cartoon Network. I don't know what's up with Cartoon Network. I haven't followed Cartoon Network in a really long time. To be fair, I'm 37, so there you go. But, uh, really great series. Carl was easily, like, the breakout character of that whole thing. He's just, he's simultaneously the best character and also completely reprehensible at any given point in time. And those are the best characters. But anyway... What am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Well, I just got through reviewing a Boom, a Shake from Shake Shack. This specifically being their maple snickerdoodle shake. But if you're going to Shake Shack, man, you got to get a burger, right? It's part of the whole deal. It's practically a law. So I went over there and I got a rather interesting burger because we're doing Boom, it's this. What is this? This is their shroom burger. This is their vegetarian option, although it does contain eggs, so, you know, just as a thing. Uh, what does the shroom burger consist of? It is a crisp fried portobello mushroom filled with melted Munster and cheddar cheeses, topped with lettuce, tomato, uh, shake sauce, and a toasted potato bun. Ooh. So, I mean... You know, okay. Wow, that's a little bit smaller. Well, okay. It's... Okay. The, the bun connects. All right. Sure. It's a little bit... Eh. Let's get a thing for the thing. Ha 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 It looks like that. Can we... Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Ha 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 Sure. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian, clearly. But... I'm perfectly fine with, like, vegetarian options and stuff like that. I think they're cool that they're available. And I actually really like mushrooms, and I really like Munster cheese. So, and I do have to mention, what with this being a burger, this is going to end up on my Burgers for Days playlist. That playlist is just a playlist where I review burger stuff. Let's give this a go, see how it is. It's gooier on, gooier on the inside than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was going to be stuffed with melted cheese, but I have to admit, I didn't think it was going to be that stuff. I mean, look at it. That's a, that's a lot of cheese. Okay. Okay. I'm down with that. Um, do I have a thing? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's dig into it a little bit more. Mushroom's good. And of course, the advantage with the portobello, it's already got kind of a, somewhat of a meaty texture. Plus, it's got a lot of space so you can fill... I like that. I will say the crisp fried aspect of it. I like it. It's a little bit hit or miss with me. I like it. 
it creates a nice texture to it. It's got a nice crunch. It does add a little bit of that fried kind of uh, flavor to it, but also takes away a little bit of that sort of the earthiness of the mushroom, which for some people, I mean, that may very well be deliberate. You know, some people don't like that aspect. I, I really like it with the mushroom, but. Cheeses are really nice, really nice and ooey and gooey. Only thing I'll say with the cheeses, I love Munster, I love Cheddar. I don't know that they actually complement each other. Munster, a little bit more mild of a cheese, but very distinct taste. I mean, it's re it's genuinely probably my favorite cheese that I've ever had. Uh, so in that, it definitely lends that to this. You know, it's that nice, like, extra creaminess to it. The cheddar, it's sharper. You know, it's a little bit more of that harder edge. And so it's it's one of those things, like, you get a little bit of the sharpness from the cheddar. It kind of kind of goes over there and diminishes a little bit of that very specific Munster flavor. Like, for me personally, I might have actually just preferred it with just the Munster. But it's hard to say. You know, that's... You know, I'm just speculating. But I do still really like it. Like, it is nice and cheesy. I was just... When I saw Munster, my brain was just like, yes, Munster cheese. And the Munster cheese flavor that I'm getting, while well, still there, just not quite as, you know, as prevalent as I was hoping. But other than that, I mean, the veg is nice. I like tomato. It's good. Nice and fresh. Gives it a little, opens it up a little bit, you know, so it's not just a heavy burger. It's kind of weird to think about when it's a vegetarian burger. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice mix of flavors and textures. Like I said, you get the crispiness on the outside. Kind of holds everything together. You get the nice, you know, somewhat kind of spongy meatiness of the uh, of the portobello. And then you get that nice ooey-gooey cheese on the middle. I mean, yeah, man. I dig this. See me, that's just tasty. And the shake sauce, or shake sauce is nice too, you know. Gives it a little extra zing. Yeah, man. I mean, hell, I damn near ate the whole thing. Um, no two questions I have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Hmm. I'm going to go with yes, little caveat, and yes, caveat and here's what i mean i think for me personally i like this burger in you know burger as it were i like it like genuinely i think it's really tasty i think it's you know doing the things that it needs to do as a it's not trying to be a to be a burger it's a mushroom burger you know and i appreciate the fact that they're not trying to hide that you know they're letting the mushroom do a mushroom thing even if they do fry it you know to a certain extent, but it's still got that mushroom aspect to it, the cheeses on the inside are really nice, like, I like the overall experience, and as somebody who enjoys mushrooms, I can personally get down with it, my only caveat would be, it would not be under normal circumstances if I were getting it, I don't think I would get it singular, I think that if I were going to get it, it would be like my side burger, which sounds insanely American, if I'm being honest, but what I mean is I would want like a traditional protein burger to kind of go along with this and then maybe have this kind of fish, excuse me, kind of finish it off. I think that would be the best like circumstance, kind of the best of both worlds for me personally. Um, now if I'm recommending it to other people, it is that thing of like, who am I recommending it to? You know, as a vegetarian option, again, it does have eggs in it, so I don't know where people fall with that whole thing, but um, as a vegetarian option, I actually think this one is really nice. Like, I've reviewed a lot of, like, meat substitute burgers and stuff like that, and, like, some of them are pretty decent, but 
they're fundamentally trying to imitate meat. And that's where I feel like they kind of fall down. This isn't trying to imitate meat. It's just a tasty mushroom burger. If you go into it with that understanding, I think that, you know, if it sounds appealing, it will be. But if you're going into it, you know, burr, 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 why isn't it a cow burger? Burr, 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 burr. I, th th there's no fucking helping you, you know. You got to take it for what it is. And I think as a vegetarian option, honestly, I would get this way before I would get like a black bean burger or an impossible burger. Because again, it's just, it's not trying to imitate anything. It's just trying to be a good mushroom burger. And I think it works in that capacity. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monument for the rest of your month. Spend the rest of your folks. Go with every a truly mushroom-tastic rest of your life. Because I like mushrooms, damn it. And I don't care if you don't. I mean, I do a little bit, you know, I mean, and especially if you're, like, allergic or some shit. But da, 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 da. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we have to deal with that stuff, it's important we go over there take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, I hope that if you're over there, if you are vegetarian or vegan or what have you, whatever your food preferences may be, I hope that you find suitable options at any variety of establishments. I like to think that, you know, we're in the year 2024 now. I like to think that we've little by little, moved away from this, no this notion that people who, you know, have different dietary requirements should be outcasted or, you know, made the butt of the joke just because, well, they just, you know, they're just doing something different. Now, don't be an asshole about it. I will say that, you know, because vegetarians, especially new ones, they have this tendency to kind of, they take on kind of a born-again Christian kind of mentality, where, like, suddenly they got to be up in everybody's business. Don't be that person, okay? People want to eat meat. They're going to do their thing. You just let it do it. And maybe if you go to a barbecue or some shit, maybe bring some options for yourself. Or at the very least, let them know well in advance. Don't be pissed off once you get there. But, like I said, I do think that... It, I personally think it's cool that we are in this, you know, this point in our society where... We are getting a little bit better with this. And, you know, even at a place like Shake Shack or Smashburg or what have you, these options are available. So, anyway, bye!